everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 24 inch uh, black canvas that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. I normally do not shop at Hobby Lobby, but they had a sale going on, so I stopped in. And this is called a Master's Touch Canvas. And I think the quality of it is pretty good. Um, I have taped the bag and put my jumbo push pins down and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use my new uh, funnel pitcher again and I think I'm just going to do um, a pour down the center and then do some tipping on it and let's go over my paints I have several paints today and I won't go over all of them but I do want to point a few out I'm using the artist law flow acrylic white uh, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. I may put some on the outside if needed. I am not going to put a base coat down today. I'm just going to let my paints flow. And um, this pretty color here, I'll talk about this one. And I did leave my paints a little bit on the thick side today. That pretty color is called the Master's Touch Acrylic Brown Red. And I think it's a very pretty color. That, again, I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And three of my other paints, I am trying out Christina Welch's uh, Porridge Posse paint today. The first one is called Victoria's Muscadine Wine. The second one is called Maria's Lake Forest Metallic. And there's the lid, the lid and there's the, the name of it. And the last one I'm trying out is the Persian Autumn Yellow. Okay. And I will list her name. It's Christina Welch. Christina with a C, Welch, W-E-L-C-H, Art. And I will list that in my description. And just let me show you. It is very nice paint. Very creamy. And that's that pretty, that very pretty Persian Yellow color. Well, the balance of my paints are a combination and some leftovers, so again, I won't go over all of them. I'll tell you my pouring medium today was seven parts of the mix to one part paint. I did add probably just one or two drops of water just to thin the paint out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is stop my camera. I'm going to layer my, um, my funnel picture, and then I'll bring you back and we'll get started with the painting. Okay, everybody I'm back and I've um, filled my cup layered my cup and I'll show you that I actually layered it from the side all my colors are in there and we're gonna get started laying down our paint I'm just gonna mark where my canvas is so you can all still see it as I do some tipping and I put just a few little black blobs um, for the center of my canvas. I did not add any black paint to my um, jug here. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up my canvas here and just start, just tip it a little bit. And now I'm going to put it down. I do have plenty of paint for this canvas. I did get this um, this jug on Amazon.
Sorry, it's silent, but I'm just kind of trying to concentrate here. Okay, and I do have plenty of paint left in my jug. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to start back at the top again and just go down that middle again. Okay, I do have a real little bit of paint left in my jug, but I'm going to just keep it there, save it in case I need it. And now I think I'll give this a torch. Now I'm going to do something that I haven't seen in a while. I'm going to just take and inject a little bit of black paint underneath here, here and there. See if that gives us anything interesting. Okay, and since I did cause some more air bubbles, I'm going to quick uh, torch again. Maybe I'll do a few more of those. just in case the other ones get tilted off. Okay, so let's do some tilting now. Just gonna go in a back and forth motion, see what we get. I'll try and keep you in frame here. Now go down a little bit, bring it back. Just have some fun with my tilting here. Can I bring it this way a little bit? This way, try and straighten those lines out just a little bit there in the middle. Okay, I'll do some tilting this way. Now tilt it off and bring it back. looks like I will lose most of that black that I injected. I may try it again now that I've done some tilting. Ok, 
Okay, let's do some more tilting here. Let's bring it over to this corner. I'm bring it back a little bit first. And I'm sorry you're not seeing this. Now we're going to tip down to this corner, down to this edge first, and then over the corner and bring it back right away. There's just a lot of stripes that I don't want to lose in that corner there. Okay. Let's bring it down this way. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some black paint down here to help it over the corner. I do like what's going on in this corner and don't wanna lose it all. So I'll just add some black paint there. Now I'm gonna tip in that corner and bring it back. And I'll try and straighten my lines out again here. Okay. And I am going to add some black in this corner also to help the paint move. And I'll turn it this way so you can see how I'm tipping. And I'm going to tip down in this corner. And bring it back. Okay. Just gonna take a look at it now. Do a little more tipping here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip off this corner and I will put more black down too to help that out. And I'm not really crazy about this corner, so most of this I feel can get tipped off. So I will do tip this corner now. I'm trying to be careful not to lose all those stripes that I do like there. Okay, take another look at it. I can tell you what I do like is how I'm pulling these the more I pull them down, you can just see the effects I'm getting. 
with the white and that reddish brown. So pretty. Just going to tip it a little bit again this way. And down. I think I'll go over that corner. And I'm going to bring it back. And bring it down. I'm still stretching those stripes out. Okay, let's take a look now. I'm going to try and just tip this a little more in the middle there to draw those stripes out a little bit more. Okay, and then bring it back. Okay, looks like I only saved one of those, the black that I injected, but I really do like that. Oh, here's one too, but it didn't really come to the surface that much. I'm just going to tip it a little bit this way, just to see what we get here. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm just gonna clean off the bottom here quick. And I will work with the sides off camera. And being that it is a black canvas, if all the sides are not covered, it's that's still okay with me. And I'm going to give it a torch here. See if we bring anything up. Okay, there's one area I would like to change, and that's, that is that corner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and inject a little black paint in there again. Give it a torch. And I'm just going to tip around on that, see what I can do with that corner. Just play with it a little bit. I think I'd rather have it black than the way it was. Now I'll bring it back down.
and to clean off the bottom here with my finger. I might take my skewer also and just, hopefully you're seeing this, just draw some lines down into here. I like that a lot better. <laughs> Just incorporating this little black here a little better. There. Okay, I'm going to give it one more torch, then we'll get you down for a close up. Tell me what you think. Again, this is a 12 by 24 inch black canvas that I've used several colors on. I just did a, I guess what you'd just call an, a dirty pour with my funnel pitcher. And this is the upper left hand corner. And you can really see how defined these lines are. And I really do feel it's from using the mix. Beautiful in there. And this is just down the left-hand side. This is the lower left-hand corner here. And I will take you up towards the middle. This is what I really like here, right in here, it's so pretty. Very colorful up in here. And that right, That is right in the middle. And we're coming to the upper right hand corner here. And down the right side. And we're coming upon the lower right hand corner where I did add that black there. I like that a lot better. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and please share it. If you know any um, friends that would like to watch this video, that would be great. Um, subscribe if you haven't. And make sure that you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time I do post a new video. And until next time, take care everybody. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.